Hey guys, what's up? The HTC One A9, finally, the camera. Yes, that is a great photo here. Outside, bright light, uh, as well as this one. Lots of detail, really love that picture. But I wanna go a little bit deeper. Most smartphone cameras do well under those light situations. We've got a 13 megapixel camera with a 2.0 aperture. I'm only gonna talk about the uh, main camera here, not the selfie camera. We've got raw image shooting, manual control, HDR, of course, voice control. Uh, so everything looks good on paper, but how does it compare against uh, the Nexus 5X, the 6P, the LG G4, and the V10, and so forth? It's gonna be quite interesting. So here we have an indoor shot, and really came out nicely on the HTC. I was really surprised. And then I compared this with the Nexus. I shot that on the 5X and both have great detail. I really like those holiday bubbles. There, the LG G4 from a different angle, didn't shoot it the same day, um, also good. Well, here is a nice photo, again, indoor fluorescent lighting. Look at the table, all the grain is preserved. The arch on the headphone band is very clean, clear, so resolution and detail and sharpness. Compared to the Nexus 6P, that was shot with the Nexus 6P, which has the upper hand. Look at everything is so clean here, wins. And the loser here is the LG V10. This was shot on the V10. And um, the color is a little bit, it's underexposed a little bit and the color is a little bit too much in the yellow. HTC One A9 is great with the greens. And so I tested it on matcha container, matcha tea, amazing shot. It really showed me what this camera can do under the right circumstances. If it inter interprets everything right, you see all the details in here, even at severe magnification. So it can do very, very good images. We'll see later, that's not always the case. So here, a little bit the video, a little bit shaky here. It's handheld, so to be expected, but it's also refocusing. It's a difficult shot as the light situation changes from the container here. The much discussed Starbucks cup, HTC One A9, clear edges, uh, shallow depth of field. The background is very blurry, which what we want, which is what we want. Even the table is already blurry. 2.0 aperture at work here um, holds up very, very well against the larger. Uh, picture from the Nexus 6P is a larger aperture, it's a bigger sensor, and I think it's even better than that, even though the it's blurry in the background. And the LG G4 that's coming up here missed the shot. It's The colors are not right, it's overexposed. Yes, you have a 1.8 aperture, so it's very shallow depth of field, but that's not everything. So I look at specific shots. This is here a set dinner table in a furniture store. Lots of saturation, colors look really, really good. All the detail is preserved. The lighting was less than optimal, the HTC One A9. And if we compare that with the LG G4, the colors are much less saturated, a little bit overexposed slightly, but it allows you to push everything later in post production. Um, a little more clarity, the bigger sensor of 16 megapixels. Here again, green, like Nikon, HTC One A9 favors the greens a little bit. It wasn't quite as green, so it pushes that a little bit more. It's all right, it's acceptable. Here, autofocusing didn't quite catch. It locked onto the leaf on the top left and left the flower uh, not at its best. This is, yeah, great. Shallow depth of field, aperture comes to play here, but it's a green mess, the whole thing. Granted, it was already uh, later in the day with a little bit of yellow light, but it didn't catch it accurately. This is a great photo for the HTC One A9. It's behind a piece of glass, jewelry store, difficult light conditions, lots of shadows and uneven lights bouncing from different places. Price tags are intact. You can read them at magnification. At first, it looks much better than the Nexus 5X. I'm sorry, I shot that with the 6P. Um, and uh, But if you zoom in, you see how clean those price tags are. LG V10 here, overexposed, a lot of blown out highlights, a lot of 
too much white there in in other words so we're losing starting to lose some detail here because of that that's indoor a shot indoor at medium light i would say and still acceptable not too much graininess going on even if we zoom in and magnify so you can use that indoors in malls office buildings if it's sufficiently lit some amount of light needs to be there here a street lamp shining on a ford mustang hc1 and i did very well this is in hdr got some light shining against us as well from the building in the back but the blacks are black nexus 5x as well a little bit better here uh, dynamic range and the lg g4 didn't do so well i think the colors a little bit too soft here, even though the blacks are black so the hdr works as well i'll let you be the judge great and difficult shot here we have a gate here uh focusing really strongly here on the lower part of the image and the top is already blurry which is what you want it's a nice effect and also the mesh that metal it's very clean the sky also uh, no artifacts in there and if we zoom in you can see the detail that this lens is able to capture look at the left on the stones part of the wall the top like i said is still blurry so great test here we go um video mode 1080p only unfortunately um but more of the concern would probably be that the colors are a little bit too uh, saturated and the contrast a little bit too strong. Uh, sharpness, though, is excellent. And also, the focusing is pretty quick when you tap on something to refocus. That works pretty well, so you can control that. So, definitely usable. And so my conclusion on the HTC One E9, I would say it's uh, number one from the phones tested here would probably be the Nexus 5X along with the uh, Nexus 6P. They have to share the same camera. Number two would probably be LG G4 and V10. It's got more pixels and full manual controls, 1.8 aperture, although a smaller sensor than the than the Nexus phones. Uh, number three would have to go to uh, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, which is also excellent. And probably somewhere there as well, the Galaxy S6 and its uh, related brothers with the same lens. And uh, then you'll probably have the HTC One A9 with a lot of other cameras. All right, so I really focused on detailed shots that are not so much uh, life situations, so no animals, no portraits, and so forth. Uh, maybe you can send some of those, post some of those, share it with us. I really wanted to sort of like uh, expose artifacts and be a little bit more on the detail side of things. This is how I shoot. Um, but please share and yeah, if you could like, subscribe and comment, that would be awesome. Thanks a lot. Tech Reviews out.